Hi everybody, today we'll learn how to uh, do the row major implementation of a two dimensional array. This comes under the lesson arrays. First of all, let's understand what is this row major implementation. Now, whenever a 2D array is stored in the memory, there are two ways to store that array. One is a row major and the another one is the column major. So, first of all, I take up the row major. Uh, when we take the row major, the way it is stored in the computer, in the memory, is like it uh, stores the first row of the array, then it stores the second row, then the third row, fourth row, like that it goes on, right? And another thing that you have to remember is, uh, whenever an array is stored uh, in the memory, only the base address of the array is stored that is the computer doesn't store all the addresses uh, the addresses of all the elements of the array right it stores only the base address and it calculates the address of the elements whenever it is needed the other elements right so here, so I'll put down a few points first. Here, the there are two methods for storing a two-dimensional array one is the row major which I'm going to take up today and the another one is column major right now in row major implementation the first row is stored then the second row, second, third row and so on, right. The next point that you have to uh, remember is the computer stores only the base address. Base address means the starting address of the array, right. It does not store the address of all the elements of the array, right. Now, uh, let's look at the formula for this row major implementation. Formula to find the address of uh, i comma jth element of an array, right? This is equal to <coughs> B plus W N again a bracket I minus I minus uh, we put it as L R plus that is R I have put there right ok plus J minus L C fine now here what is B B is the base address B is the base address of the array right uh, w is the number of bytes occupied by each element right n is the number of columns fine and i and j are the uh, elements for which you want to find the address 
fine now l r here i have written l r that l r is the first row number first row number and l c is the first column number first column number or you can take it as the lower bound of the rows and the lower bound of the columns fine now this is your formula this is what you have to remember this is the formula to find the address of i and j th element of an array right now i am going to take up a question in which we'll be finding the address fine so now i'll put the question on the board these uh, type of questions this comes uh, in the array uh, questions and uh, this is a sure shot uh, question where you should not lose any marks basically it's very easy and uh there's not much uh, complications in such questions i'm putting a question here an array a r r 5 5 that is the row and column is stored in the memory along a along the row let's say this is the row major when they give along the row or row wise that is the row major right um with each element occupying four bytes assuming the base address of uh, the array a r r to be 1000 compute the address of a r r 2 4 when the array is stored row wise i have put that along the row also there uh this is a row major implementation fine now let's see how to do this first of all from this question uh here we see that the base address of the array is given as 1000 so first of all you write that base address is 1000 and what is w the number of bytes that is occupied they are giving it as with each element occupying 4 bytes so that is equal to 4 right now what is you have to compute the address of which element 2 4 so that is your i and j right so i is equal to 2 j is equal to 4 fine and what is n n is the number of columns how many columns are there 5 okay this is a 5 by 5 5 rows 5 columns so n is equal to 5 and the other thing which i want is lr and lc lr and lc now here you see this is an array of this is what has been given 5 5 it basically means that the array starts from zero right when nothing is mentioned about the base address as to where the base address is starting from it is a normal array wherein the array subscripting starts from zero so the lower bound of the rows that is the first row is zero and the first column is also zero okay now using this values we will have to solve this now what was the formula it is like this you have to find out this one arr 2 4 this is equal to b plus w uh into n this is i minus lr i minus lr plus j minus lc fine so now i'm going to 
substitute the values everything I have here this is 1000 plus what is W it is 4 and N is N is the number of columns which is 5 ok I I is what I is 2 right minus L R is 0 plus what is J J is 4 and L C is also 0 understood so now we have to solve this one uh, mistake which you should not do here is the calculation part of this place where I am putting this see it is like this the the it is n into i minus l r ok this is 5 into 2 fine and then this plus is coming which is 4 right uh, one mistakes which the st one mistake which the student do is they do this 2 plus 4 first and then they multiply it with 5 it is not like that you have to multiply this 5 and 2 right so here it is sorry 1000 plus 4 5 twos are 10 plus 4 ok then here you see now what do you get 1000 plus 4 into 14 right 4 into 14 is 56 so I get it as 1000 plus 56 which is equal to 1056 this is the answer for this question right hope you have understood this now I'll take one more question where I'll show you how to calculate the base address of an array I'll take that question of uh, calculating the base address and then the address of another element in my next session on this row major implementation. So with that I come to the end of this session wherein I have taught you how to uh, calculate the address of the ijth I -J element of a 2D array and I have given the formula for the calculation of this and this is one small example which we have taken wherein we are finding the uh, address of array 2 4 right okay so this is how it is to be done so with that i end this session bye